Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another video here in Bali. As you can see, this time I'm on the back of a moped here. We've got uh, our good man here who just picked me up and we're going to be taking you guys out with us for what it's like uh, doing a night out here in Changu, Bali. So actually as you can see we're taking uh, transportation to get there so we don't consume any uh, bin tanks tonight and then get back on a motorbike. So uh, yeah guys, we are staying like where our villa is. If you saw in other videos, you probably know that we're like five minutes away from Finn's Beach Club. And so to get where we're going, La Brisa, to start out for sunset, uh, we have to go take probably like an eight minute motorbike ride through the Changu shortcut. And yesterday when we went, when we weren't filming, let me just tell you one thing, it was the craziest traffic I've ever seen there. So we'll see if we're able to give you any sort of sneak peek of what that's like, but uh, let's go ahead and do this. All right, so we're cruising on to the uh, good old shortcut. Oh yeah, it looks like uh, up there we're already gonna be hitting some traffic. This right here, guys, will give you a good look into uh, what it's like now in Bali these days. You know, I believe when I first got here, the traffic was at like 20% of what it is now. And now like everyone's coming. It's the beginning of high season, starting to get into high season. And uh, Bali's open, Bali's ready for everything. So I guess we'll see how long we are sitting in this line, but uh, I would estimate it's probably gonna take us five, 10 minutes just to get through this. So just give you some for reference, this is why the uh, shortcut, oh, there's Luke, Luke. <laughs> He's right up there. We almost caught up to him. But this is why the uh, shortcut's so tight. Basically it's a one lane road and you have all of these uh, cars basically trying to get through here and share it with mopeds going the opposite way. I'm pretty sure cars can only go that way. So I guess maybe they have to go another way. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I only ever see cars going this way. But yeah, you can just see just constantly people from all over the world cruising through this area. It's a really picturesque spot though. I mean, we're kind of driving through like a rural area of the Changu area, you know, like right downtown. And you still kind of get that Bali feel while you also get that nature feel and you're close to everything. So it's quite nice, I'd say. Oh, this is my favorite part of the Changu shortcut. We basically like go through these like tree tunnel pathways and then here we go. Rice patties, baby. Oh, you got people cruising by here. One thing I'll tell you guys, it's a dangerous place. I've heard about many uh, incidents when it comes to riding bikes around here. So be very careful if you're cruising around this area on motorbikes. Normally I'm wearing a helmet. So that's what I mean, be careful. So we got a lot of really nice spots as we cruise through Changu. Like so many food options. We had burgers back there. We've got Luigi's Pizza there, which apparently turns into like a big dance party at night. And then this, we're looking at right here, you're looking at a massive slingshot. So we want to make it on there at some point. We still haven't yet. It looks like it's like maybe a six person slingshot and it basically just launches you up in the air. We were going to try and do it in this video guys, but we want to make sure we catch sunset. We get a table at La Brisa because it's a really sick spot. And so after going there last night, I was like, I want to share this place with the world guys. So one of the best parts of the experience was being there at sunset. The one thing I'll tell you about Changu is like the way the roads are designed are like totally weird. You only have the Changu shortcut to basically cut from like all these different like pocket ways that lead to the beach. So when it is clogged, there's like no other way to get down there unless you go like way back up to the highway. That just happens when you get so many tourists uh, because the place is amazing. Oh, and here we are arriving to uh, La Brisa right down here. Oh, as you guys can hear, we're riding over the bricks here. Oh. <laughs> And this is it. Hello. Ah, thank you so much, brother. So guys, we have just arrived. In tonight's video, you're gonna be seeing Mr. Luke Demant. Hello, sire. It's been a while. It's been a while. And then we got sire, hello there. He's going full speed ahead. I guess I was the only one that got dropped off right in front. The boys got dropped off right at the entrance. Sire, how are we doing? Good evening, bro. One time, please. Yalla. So guys, we just got into La Brisa and it is amazing. I will say you probably should make a reservation if you're thinking about coming here on the weekends. We got lucky we were able to get in, but uh, you don't always get that lucky. We were able to get a reservation last minute, but uh, it's a popular place. We'll give you a tour in just a moment. Boys, we have entered the place. It's been a while. Hello. Hello there, sire. So guys, here's a, a quick little tour of La Brisa. As you can see, it extends all the way over there. You got some amazing beach bags you can sit. 
hang out, look at the sunset. We've got the uh, table for four. We might have a few others. We've got the boys here. How we doing? Dank. Never been better, brother. Never, Never been, been better. better. Love that. So yeah, guys, for food options here, we'll pop open the menu here. La Brisa. And to be fair with you guys, the only thing any of us have had are the pizzas yesterday. Yeah, we just order them again because they're it, dank. Exactly. <laughs> so you already know I got the margarita with salami on there because they don't have pepperoni, but uh, lots of different options you can get here from chicken, lamb, uh, like larger platters to uh, you got salads here. Looks like we got the vegetarian options. We've got a few different types of bread and snacks and sharing options. So pretty good options for uh, food menus. You even have the kids menu here. So you got that as an option, sweets and ice cream. And let me tell you this, we tried out many of the types of drinks and I think we made it through all four of their specialty, right? You mentioned that we were here yesterday night, right? Yeah, I did. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Earlier in the vlog. Racked up. Uh, it, we had, what, minimum spend one meal to get a table over there? Yeah, yeah. I think we hit that in an hour. Literally, <laughs> literally, yeah. We probably spent like four million between us and then a few other friends that came and joined. And uh, we tried out all their signature cocktails. Really good. They're about 115 rupiah for a cocktail, which is like roughly eight US dollars. So to be honest, like having these types of views in a beautiful location, you know, you think of places similar to Bali, like Tulum, you'd be paying like $25 for a drink like that. So it's really nice for the money and uh, yeah, so many different options for everybody's palate. So we'll show you once the drinks arrive. Oh yeah, look what has arrived. Oh, thank you very much. That looks delicious. Thank you. So guys, here's the drink. Yesterday I got this one and it was like basically filled probably like 60% with ice. So I got it with no ice and it's got like ginger beer in it, a bunch of different, I guess, plants. I don't remember seeing all these yesterday, but maybe it was because it was like hidden in the, uh, hidden in all the ice. But like, yeah, peppers, leaves, even, is that like a bamboo stick? Something like that. And yeah, it's very delicious. Let's try it out today, see how it compares. Oh, that is definitely G double O D. Good. What'd you boys get? Uh, I don't actually know the name of it. I got a cinnamon espresso martini. Uh, I got that energy G triple O D. Good. Mango Mary Margarita. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Triple M. And it, it's as good as it sounds. Oh, you, there's like lots of spices and stuff. You should lick it. Shall I lick it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Give it a proper lick, bro. Let's see what's going Just on. Just so you know, guys, I've already filmed my part of this, and I did the exact same. <laughs> Luke was like, lick it all. And so I'll lick it all for you guys as well. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do more this time. All right, there we go. Let's make it count. Get on the inside. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh wow, jeez. Oh, what do you think that glass is, bro? Oh. <laughs> oh, you can tell it's pretty strong there. So what is it, like tequila in there? Uh, I'll tell you exactly what it is. We've got tequila, gold rosemary, mango pure and liquor, lime juice, aguava, agave, wow, no, 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 agave, agave oh, and yeah. rosemary syrup. Ooh. Just make it, they've got, added a lot of fancy words, but basically it's just alcohol, guys. Exactly. Well, cheers to that, boys. Cheers. Cheers, boys. One of the nice parts about where we're sitting, actually we'll find out real soon here, because we, right now we can talk a lot amongst each other, but there is a speaker pointing towards us right next to the DJ deck, but he looks like he's getting ready to uh, put on some bangers for the night. But what I will say is like yesterday when we were here, like I loved the way they had like music that was fitting the vibe. Like when the sun was going down, super chill, relaxing music as you're like, you know, looking out into the sun. And then as like the sun went down, the night progressed, like it got a little bit more like uh, party music, techno kind of build up to it. So they've got a nice mix of all of that. So guys, we'll give you a uh, quick tour of what this place looks like over here. As you can hear in probably the background, like it's such a nice little vibe here. And looking out this way, Wow, this is what, when most people think of coming to Bali, this is what you get. Vibes, drinks, good atmosphere, amazing music, and the sun setting, people surfing. This is what we came for, it's amazing. And guys, as soon as I just came back from giving you a little tour over there, what it looks like, 
the za has arrived. The boys have literally chowed down on half of theirs already. How is it? The dank. The dank. We just did shots, so there's a perfect chaser. Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Takes care. So I'm not gonna act surprised here, guys. I had the exact same pizza last night, but it was just that good. And for those of you guys who have been following me for a while, you know I'm literally obsessed with pizza. I probably should be eating like a May Goring right now, but uh, we're going for the za. So we're just gonna give it a nice proper bite. But let me tell you this, this is fresh out of the oven. I can barely hold it right now because it's so hot. You can taste multiple types of cheeses in there, the salami mixing in. It's a deceiving pizza though, because you can see it's quite big. We're probably talking 14 inches, but uh, it's very, very thin crust, as you can see there. So it's the perfect amount if you're looking for something light to uh, enjoy with the vibes here with the boys. Did you know this place is called La Brisa? But I was just speaking to one of the staff beforehand, and they said, because these videos are going like so viral, they're actually renaming it to La Pizza. Oh, yeah, yeah. there it is. That's, that's the word on the street. But you know what I heard? I heard that La Brisa, you know the Spanish translation of La Brisa? Yeah, yeah. It's no, I don't. Like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, that's exactly so what So just do what the title, I mean, do, do what the name of this uh, restaurant is. Like and subscribe. Yeah, there it is. You heard it from Mr. Harry Jaggard. Like and subscribe, guys. And on that note, I'm going to enjoy this delicious pizza. So guys, we'll give you a little tour out here on the beach. What we've got going on right at sunset. So uh, it's actually much past sunset, but you guys can get a much better view of this place. We've got seating all along this place. We've got the sun going down. We've got people hanging out, catching shots of the last glimpse of night at this time. So let me just tell you this. La Brisa is my number one favorite spot in Chengdu at this point. This is like, we only came across this place, like I told you, like a couple nights ago, and this is the spot. And you can see like already at this time, like the mood lighting here, the vibe to it all, like it's just, it's such a sick vibe. You can even hop in the pool right over there. And like going around this way, like as we cruise over here, we've got seating all up and down the top. Maybe by the end of the night, we're gonna be jumping right there in the pool, but until then, we're just gonna cruise around and keep the clothes dry because I might regret it. But uh, let's just uh, keep doing a walk over this way. We got the music blaring over here. We've got all these different types of tables. This is why you guys need a uh, reservation here because you've got like these spots, get a group of people there. You got the pool so close to you to be able to just hop in, cool off, do whatever you wanna do. And then the more you get closer to the water, that's when you get that beanbag style that I was showing you guys that kind of like uh, leads you right up to the water. So, like I said, I think I like this place more than Finn's Beach Club because it's got way more of just a chill, nice vibe to it. But like going to Finn's Beach Club, for example, like that's more of like a uh, place where it's popping off. So, this is it. Hello. So that is a quick little glimpse for you guys of what La Brisa is like. Certified vibes. We got our we got our bro down here tossing on the uh, tunes. We got good music going down here, brother. Good stuff. You're the man. What's your name? Nona. Nona? Max, nice to meet you. Great tunes. Let's keep it going. The man, the myth, the legend, Nona down there dropping the best tunes on the island. Let's go, baby. Guys, we just finished up a very nice dinner. As you can see, it's gotten much, much darker than it is now. And so uh, let's put it this way. We're a little warm at the moment. What do you got in mind, bro? We got a pool I mean, right there. Look at this, guys. It's just, it's very inviting. It's very inviting. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, I think that, uh, I think he's uh, getting ready to jump in. So that means it's probably time to jump in the pool. I'd say, uh, what do you mean, fully clothed? Fully clothed! Oh yeah, we fucking had a tennis tire. Oh yeah, La Brisa, it's been a while. You're up, don't bump. Bob Marley, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Three. Two. Luke. 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 
He's coming. All right, here he comes. No. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, hey, the body's been cooled off, so. Yeah, well, about that. Ah. You missed out, bro. Let's put it that way. Look, let's put it this way. I'm going to enjoy the taxi ride a lot better than you guys are. Yeah, <laughs> debatable. The taxi driver's not going to enjoy the ride, though. Yeah, no that. way. Yeah, guys, so we're going to be taking the uh, grab bikes back. The only uh, rag ride or regret, depends on how you define it, is uh, jumping in the pool and being fully soaked. You can't put any of your shoes or anything back on, so... We're gonna get on the bikes, we're gonna cruise back, and that's a uh, proper night out here in Changu. A bit low key, we didn't go clubbing, but we had a good time, let's put it that way. Guys, we've learned one thing tonight, and that is, apparently grab drivers cannot pick us up over at La Brisa. So, no. I love rock and roll. Yeah, so we had a little karaoke session on the way back, but uh, we're walking down the street because apparently grab drivers in this area cannot pick us up. That's what they're telling all of us. And none of our drivers, we have three drivers right now, are coming this way. So apparently we've got a five minute walk and then hopefully we'll be able to get us, get ourselves a ride back to the house. So we'll cruise on over there and see if the boys are waiting for us. Hello, good evening. All right, guys. Well, we have figured it out. We're back in process. We are in route. Uh, yeah, apparently a lot of places around La Brisa, you're not allowed to take a grab. You gotta get dropped off there. Just simply sharing that, uh, you know, for anyone else that calls a grab, you aren't able to get one from the club. So uh, there's apparently a certain radius where you have to go with local taxis. As you can see, we're catching up with Mr. Luke Demand right there. Hello, sire. Hello, sire. Hello, sire. Hello, sire. I need a chicken thigh! Sire, it is time! Hello! Chicken thigh, sire! We got Harry Jack on taking the lead! Huzzah! Let's put it this way, guys. Uh, always wear a helmet and don't do the things we do. We do not recommend it, we do not condone it, we do not. Anything. Be safe. When you go out, do what you gotta do to keep yourself out of trouble. Hello there, sire. Hello, sire. It's. Uh, there's chicken thighs up ahead. One chicken thigh full speed ahead. It's been a while. Subo Desenal. Subaho. Villa Ventus. How are things? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, inshallah, I do. Uh, oh. uh, is it possible to tip you in the app? You got, you, you got any change there, sire? Yeah. Uh, for the boys for taking care. I only got a hundred. Thank you. No, hold on. That's like 20. Oh, cheers. I hate like 20. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Bye, thank you. Bye. 